Collecting the sun's heat is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to solar hot water heating systems. Storing the sun's heat is also important. As we know, the job of transferring heat from collector to storage tank is done with a circulator pump. But how does the circulator pump know when to turn on and when to turn off? This is the job of the differential controller. The differential controller compares the temperature of the collector with the storage tank temperature, and when the solar heat is available, the pump is switched on. The AC-DC controller displays the actual temperature of the collector and the storage tank. The visual display of temperature is not essential, but responding to the difference in temperature is. How hot should the collector be to turn the pump on, and how cold should it be before the pump shuts off? From personal observation and online research, I've discovered that optimal pump on differential is between 10 and 20 degrees Fahrenheit, and optimal pump off differential is between 0 and 10 degrees Fahrenheit. The differential adjust pot should cover this range. A counterclockwise adjustment enables a maximum heat harvest while a clockwise adjustment enables maximum power conservation. Small photovoltaic powered systems require a clockwise setting and AC powered systems with unlimited power could use a more counterclockwise adjustment to collect more heat. Let's take a closer look at the basic differential controller circuit so we may better understand how it works. This controller uses thermistors to sense a change in temperature. How do thermistors sense temperature? A thermistor is a simple device that changes resistance as temperature changes. We'll be using a 5K a negative temperature coefficient thermistor or NTC. An NTC resistance decreases as temperature increases. At 70 degrees Fahrenheit, the resistance is about 5K. At 90 degrees Fahrenheit, the resistance of the thermistor is 3.3K. At 110 degrees Fahrenheit, the resistance is about 2.2K. And at 130 degrees Fahrenheit, the resistance is about 1.4K. The precise resistance of a thermistor is not important. We are interested in the differential resistance, which is related to the differential temperature. A simple voltage divider made with two thermistors may therefore be used to express temperature differential. If we use a 5 volt supply across the thermistors and both thermistors are at the same temperature, the resistance of the collector sensor and the resistance of the storage sensor will be the same and the voltage at the common junction will be half the supply voltage or 2.5 volts. The differential input voltage is buffered by the first op-amp and fed into the positive terminal of the second op-amp. Here the input differential voltage is compared to a voltage selected by the differential adjustment pot. If the input differential voltage is a little higher than the selected voltage, the op-amp is activated and the relay is turned on. In this illustration, the collector and storage tank are at the same temperature. Notice that the input differential is 2.5 volts and the pump is off. Let's now raise the collector temperature. The collector is now 8 degrees higher than the storage temperature and the differential input is 3.0 volts, but the pump is still off. When the differential voltage reaches 3.5 volts, the relay is activated and the pump turns on. But how long will it stay on? A cloud blocks the sun and the collector begins to cool. The differential input drops to 3.0 volts, but the pump is still on. Finally, the differential input voltage reaches 2.8 volts and the pump shuts off. 
At this point, the collector is only about 5 degrees hotter than the storage tank. This differential may always be adjusted as needed. Let's take a close look at the operation of a basic differential controller in action. Okay, we'll be raising the temperature in the collector. Remember, this is the collector thermistor, so I'm going to raise the temperature here, and we'll see what happens to the differential um, voltage, the differential input voltage. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make an adjustment on this pot uh, so that it's totally uh, counterclockwise. This will maximize the heat harvest for the um, differential uh, controller. In other words, uh, the, the pump, or in this case the bench grinder, will come on at the, the lowest possible uh, temperature difference. Now, when, I'm, when I add heat uh, to this point, you can see the temperature starting to go up. Or, well, the temperature is going up, but you're, you're just going to see the differential input voltage, and that's rising. So now it's up to 3 volts. Remember it was close to 2.5 before? That's because we're lowering the resistance on the thermistor. All right. All right, so at about 3.2 volts, the, the pump comes on, or in this case, bench driver. Now, uh, if you take a look at that uh, differential input voltage, you can see that it's starting to drop as the, the thermistor starts to cool down. When it gets, uh, when the temperature of this thermistor approaches the temperature of this thermistor, uh, the resistance on both of them will be the same, and the differential voltage will be about 2.5 volts. Uh, now, what I can also do is I can raise the temperature on the uh, storage tank thermistor uh, to make it close to the uh, collector thermistor. See, I'm raising that, so that's another way. Okay. So at about 2.45 volts, the pump shuts off, and that's what we want. We, we have a latch circuit that's built in to do this. So we want to get as close to possible uh, as possible to the storage tank temperature to maximize the uh, heat gain. But if we want to maximize energy conservation, we're going to be turning the potentiometer in the other direction. So we'll turn this potentiometer totally clockwise, and now we'll raise the temperature of the collector probe and see what happens. Okay, now raising the temperature, you can see it's up to 2.7, 2.8, 2.9. All right, uh, now it's, it's 3.2, it's still not on. So uh, this temperature that I'm going to be raising it to will be a differential temperature between the two between collector and storage tank of about 16 degrees. And that should come on at about 3.8 volts. Let's see. Don't make me a liar now. Come on. Oh, there it goes. So at about 3.8 volts, the stretch uh, grinder comes on, uh, or the pump comes on. Uh, I don't have a pump, sorry. But now you can see that the uh, differential voltage starting to drop. Uh, it's getting closer and closer to the storage tank temperature. Remember, when it reaches 2.5 volts, it'll be the same. But if we want to conserve uh, power, uh, we want it to come off a little sooner than that. So let's see what temperature comes off at. Okay, it's 3.03. Alright, so at about 3 volts, the uh, pump shuts off. Uh, this would be a differential temperature between the collector and the storage tank of about 10 degrees. Uh, now, you'll be able to make this adjustment, uh, and you'll be able to decide how long you want the pump to come on. If you want to maximize the conservation of power or maximize heat gain, it all depends on how you adjust this potentiometer.